The biggest clinical issue facing patients with glaucoma with their standard treatment, which would be topical eye drops, uh, is patient adherence. So the drugs themselves are very effective. They work really well and they have done so for a while. The problem is that most patients have trouble taking them correctly, so they have to do it uh, very frequently. You have to get it in there just right. Uh, and a lot of patients, particularly elderly patients, have difficulty with this. And so it's not so much that the drugs don't work, it's that they can be very difficult to administer correctly. Here at UPMC, what we're working on is a polymer-based approach to reformulating traditional eye drops. And what we've done is take a traditional glaucoma drug, bromonidine, that works very well, and we've put it into a polymer matrix. And that matrix is biodegradable and it releases the drug slowly over time from a topical depot. So what patients will be able to do is administer it just like their traditional eye drop, but they would be doing this monthly rather than daily or multiple times a day. It is a thermoresponsive hydrogel. Hydrogel just meaning that it takes on a lot of water and thermoresponsive meaning that it uh, sheds that water in response to a thermal stimulus. So what that means in practice is that you have a liquid drop and it has a cross-linked network of polymer molecules and when that drop reaches body temperature, which would be beneath your lower eyelid, that's the intended site of use for these drops, it sheds all of that excess water and it turns into a solid, stable gel. And that gel is opaque, so it would be easy per for patients to see. Uh, and it's non-degradable, unlike the drug-containing particles inside, so that it stays there for the full month, and when you're done with it, you remove it and put another one in, again, just like a regular drop. The future for drug delivery systems in glaucoma um, involves a lot of these polymer-based materials. So on one hand, you have some systems that are going to be a little more invasive, where patients would need to go to the clinic and actually have it administered by a clinician. So these would be implants, injections, a lot of these things are gonna go into the vitreous. There are also some that would go beneath the conjunctiva. The other options are gonna to be topical in nature and you can see some reformulations of eye drops uh, with nanoparticles or mucoadhesive agents. Those last a little bit longer. So you might go from multiple times a day, administration of drops down to maybe once a day. Um, when it comes to something topical that lasts for as long as a month, our system is really unique uh, and there's really not much like it in development. What physicians need to know about these advancements in drug delivery systems for glaucoma is that in the very near future there's going to be a lot more options for patients and they're going to want to discuss the best uh, treatment approach for these patients, whether it be something that's very long term, that's injected in the back of their eye, or if it's something that's topical that maybe gives them some added benefit of higher bioavailability, lower dosing, decreased risk of side effects, things of that nature. Um, they're going to have a lot more to discuss beyond just choosing a drug off of the list of available drugs, there's going to be all of these additional systems that come along with it.